Let's take a look at a special property of the text field. Let me close these two back up here. Now let's go back to our trace statement. I'm going to do a trace statement so we can test out the text property of a text field. Now I would access that property the similar way that we used to access X and Y, only this property doesn't have an underscore in front of it. I'll just place in here TXT score, that's the name of our field. I'll use dot, and we'll be looking for the text property. Now so far in this lesson, I've just been pulling these properties up. They're ones you're probably familiar with, but we are going to be finding out in the next lesson how to find out what properties these elements have. For right now, I would like to take a look at the help system and point out that we can get information about those properties if you'd like to by selecting almost any kind of text you type into the script window and using the same help key that we did when we were using the reference books over here on the side. You can see this pulls up the text field dot text property and it has a few paragraphs telling you what that property is. Most of these help systems will also give you sample scripts and tell you what those scripts are going to do so you can figure out how to use these properties. This is really helpful if you've inherited a flash movie file with a lot of script in it and you're trying to figure out what the other person has coded into there you can go directly out of the script itself and access the help system to find out what you're working on. Now let's see how that's going to work. I need a semicolon to end this line off and we'll just do a control enter or a command enter on the Mac test that out and you can see that our last trace in the output window says placeholder. So what we've done is we've accessed what's been typed into the text field now obviously, this is a property that's not going to work on movie clips because you can't type anything into a movie clip or a button. By seeing how these properties are working, we can set the text inside the field just as easily as we can set an X or a Y value. Let's try that out. I'm going to add another line to the script. I'll put in text score, TXT score. I'll use a dot, and this time I'll put text property. Now I'm going to assign this to some specific string, very much like we did tracing messages earlier. When I want to put something specific into the field, I need to use quotes around it so that it'll put exactly what I type in here. I'll place in here some text that says the score is, and a little colon after it. Make sure you close up your quotes, and this is the end of a line, so I'm going to put a semicolon here at the end of the line. Now the colon is inside the text, so that's going to be placed inside that text property, and the semicolon is part of the syntax of the line, so don't get those two messed up but we should be able to test our movie. Control enter and now you can see that it no longer says placeholder, it says the score is. That's exactly what we told it to put in there.